we're streaming some Genshin Impact and I have Lily Pichu here with me so far. Yes, that's me. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> And it's so awesome to have you with me. Um, Jenny should be joining us soon, as she said she would be here. But also, sometimes she gets her schedule kind of screwed up. So, yeah. But, yay, I'm so excited. Because I need all the luck that I can get. Because I'm going to try and pull for the characters. And I would like them, please. <laughs> I was, like, in a friend's stream earlier. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you have my blessing. Go roll. His first 10 rolls, he got two Saiyus. Two Saiyus? I, I want that luck. I oh didn't my get god. Saiyus. What are you trying to get? Are you trying to see six Yoimiya? <laughs> you, you know, I would love to see six Yoimiya, but that costs money. Um, yeah, I mean, I, see, I, I put some money in it. Um, you know, so I'm expecting to see six Sayu for sure. But we'll we'll see how much I get for Yoimiya, because I actually do need a bow user, and I wouldn't mind a a a C6 Yoimiya. And thank you for the donation. Which, okay, by the no. way, if you would like to donate to the fund for me to C6 Yoimiya, I would greatly appreciate that. <laughs> What's your team like right now? What's my team? It currently yeah. is, um, uh, Mona is my main, and then I have, uh, Chi Chi as my healer, Xin Yan because you always need somebody with a claymore, and then Kuching. But I plan on, um, putting, Nara to your primo gems. I plan on putting, uh, Yoimiya where Kuching is, and then having Kuching if I, if I need Kuching. And that way I have two fire users and it will make my fire users more powerful. So, Lily, since since you're 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 the Sayu, where would be the best place to do these pulls? Oh my god, is this like superstition? Yeah, it's superstition! Oh. No, you don't understand. I mean, you're <laughs> well, cause you know, you're officially now welcome to the um to the uh <laughs> Uh, to the Among Us, um, voice actors do Among Us stream, because you're a voice actor! Heck, you were a voice actor before even doing Genshin! Uh, yeah, little, little, little rolls here and hey, there. Hey, they count! They count! Every <laughs> little roll counts! Um... Yeah, Eddie just oh, yeah. said you did a one- you did a fighting game! Were you- you were in D4 DJ, right? I was, and weren't you yeah. too? So yeah. we were technically already in something together! You were the announcer. Heck yeah, I was. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I remember. Um, <laughs> okay, so I just got to Inazuma. I don't mm -hmm. really know any spots there. Okay. Because I'm like super, super new to it. Gotcha. You should just pick somewhere that looks really pretty. Okay, really pretty. You said. Okay. Well, there is. Hmm. There is this this shrine and this tree over here that I think is really pretty. Cause it's got, it looks like it has like a whole bunch of like, um, sakura, uh, trees and whatnot. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. What AR are you? I am AR-51. Whoa! Yep. AR-51. And, um, uh, Lily, if you don't mind, I would love, since you have done some work, I would love if you told everybody here in my stream while I do some pulls already. Um, what? Uh, go go through your resume. Let everybody know no, what you have been working on. I'll tell them one thing. Uh, my, the pinnacle of my career is voice acting for the Roomba in Michael Reeves' YouTube video. Please check it out. That's awesome. Screaming Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie's trying to get me to play a game called Brumu. Do you know that game? Brumu? Doesn't sound familiar. Uh, I mentioned Rumu. Did your ears perk up? Yeah, just because I said that. So he worked on that game with Allegra Clark, who's also in this game as Beto. And apparently, mm -hmm. apparently, it's about... Oh my god, I got you! Nice! This place was lucky! <laughs> you were right. Just pick some place pretty, guys. That's all you need. Um... <laughs> Hello? Hey, it's Hi, Jenny! Jenny! Hello! Hi, Jenny! Um, Hello. We were just talking. I got Sayu. Yay! Yay! I got my sleepy little ninja. I love. I love her outfit. It's so cute. 
She's so... I love her. Like, you just fall in love. Yeah. With the character. For sure. It's so cute. I love it. Oh, I need way more Primo gems. Um... Uh -oh. Now I have tons. We're good. Um... <laughs> And, um, but yeah, Rumu is a game that is about also like a Roomba, a little vacuum, like a mini vacuum, a little, little robot vacuum, right, babe? Yeah, it's a little really? Robot. It's a little robot vacuum. It's a little Roomba. And apparently it's supposed to make you cry. And I'm like, how does a game about our little Roomba cry make you cry? So I am curious about it. And I'm like trying to find a time when I can actually stream it. But there's so much to do in Genshin. I don't have time. Oh, I got another one! That's C2! That's C1! 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 Nice! Got a C1. Yay! Ah! That, see, um, so, uh, Jenny, um, I asked, I asked Lily where, where I should pull, and she was like, just find some place pretty. And it's so I working. did, and it's working. So. And you gotta tell her somewhere to pull for you, Amy. Yeah. Probably where, not gonna work, right? Where, uh, oh gosh, yeah, probably. Hold on, I have to find where that is. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. Now I gotta, I gotta go to there. Um, ba 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 that's Inazuma City. Um, wait, where is it? Why can't I find it? Am I dumb? <laughs> yes, the answer is yes. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's... Amakane Island. That's the Kujo encampment. I don't know where I'm going. What's it called again? Uh, Nogunohara. It should be on Narukami Island. Narukami Island. Okay, is it near the shrine? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Either. I just work there. <laughs> uh, it's not Inazuma City. No. Oh, it's in Inazuma City. It's the blacksmith in the Ina Inazuma City. I'm dumb, guys. Remember that. I'm stupid. Um. <laughs> um. Je well, Jenny, now that you are here, we were just also going through uh some of um some of Lily's uh resume. We talked about D4 DJ, and then also Eddie said you were in a fighting game. What was that? Mm. Fadden Breaker? I think that one, yeah. It's one of those things where it was announced, it was recorded, but I haven't seen, like, much about it. Mm. So, I'm oh, just waiting. Yeah, fair. Jenny, what about you? What, what have you been What have you been doing with your resume and stuff besides voicing Yoimiya? Um, let me see. I, so yeah, voice Yoimiya. Um, I'm on The Simpsons as Kumiko. That is uh, so Cool that you're on The Simpsons. Yeah, what the heck? she's literally on The Simpsons. What? That's so awesome. It's very surreal. Wow. It, it never feels real. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm on The Simpsons. Um. I'm in Akudama Drive as Pupil. Uh. Let me see. I've been on Central Park, which is a really great show. That's on Apple TV. Um. You direct. I do. I, oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I, you I, do I, that. <laughs> head empty. No thoughts. <laughs> um, I am the director, casting director, and I also played Jaden Ainsley on Rainbow High. And I also uh, directed and cast uh, Talking Brats, which is on the Brats TikTok. Yeah. It's it's really cute. It is really cute. Um, we, everyone on that show did so good. And you're in Akadama Drive. I did. I said that, yeah. Oh, did I miss that? Somebody else mentioned Maybe. it in my chat. They said it slaps, which it does. That show is so good. Go watch it. There's so many good people in it. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Let's see. Am I another? I think I'm in other things, but I forget. <laughs> That's fair. I forget my resume. I like every time somebody is like, oh, yeah, you're a voice actor. What have you been? I'm like, yeah. I don't uh, know. I have things. <laughs> and, um,. You should Google it. Like <laughs> Yeah, like I need to start carrying like a, a business cards with a QR code that leads to my IMDB because I'm like, I forget. Can you go look for me? Yep. Oh. Alright, I'm in Fire Emblem Heroes. You are oh, a Yeah, I'm in Fire Emblem Heroes. I play Elise and Eleonora. <gasps> uh. Yeah. 
Yeah, people have been saying that Eleanor and Quenia is that my typecast is good <gasps> girls who use bows, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm okay with this. I got a gold. <gasps> oh dip, oh dip, oh, come on, honey. come that's home, come home. Either. Come on. Come on. I got a Sayus. Let's see too. <gasps> Yay! I got better. I got yeah! Yeah! Yay! Okay, now I just need uh six more of her. <laughs> Holy <laughs> That's shit! That's so many. I got Yamiya. I'm so happy. Oh Yay! I, I, like the next month is gonna be all about building her. And Sayu. I, know. I have to build both of them. Cause I also I need I need another I need another air person to be on call. You know, like sometimes like even if they're not in your main team, you need you need certain people of certain elements just to have have them be leveled up just in case you need them. And I plan so on having just... that be for Sayu. And Sayu's just real cute. <laughs> Sayu's so cute, and she runs around like she's Sonic the friggin' Hedgehog. The rolling mechanic is so fun. I love Sayu's it. Sayu's rolling around at the speed of sound. She can't help it. Gotta follow my rainbow. Uh-huh. Yay! Ah! C that's C3! C3 Sayu! Oh! oh yay! I am, I'm gonna C6 Sayu. It's gonna work. I believe. You're kidding way more than I did. I <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you're saying like you had bad luck. You got Sayu on like your first oh, ten yeah. ball. <laughs> that I tried to see sixer, and uh, you don't want to know how much I spent. I, I oh know. no! It's a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Again, I know. I want to try and see. It's why, like, I I've said, like, people, uh, it, when the game was first coming out, I was just telling Lily before we started that um, Chris was, like, worried that people that were C4 characters were going to be upset because they were C4 characters or whatever. You mean uh, four-star? Or four-star characters. That's what I meant. Sorry. Thank you for correcting me. Okay. Um, but four-star characters versus a five-star character. And um, so far, all the people that are four-star characters are like, no, I don't think you understand. This means I save money. I can see six myself and not spend as much money. This is a good thing. Like, <laughs> I know I'm trying real hard. I want to see six our girls so bad, but money. That's why. What, here's what you do. What you, what you do, Jenny. You start streaming, and then you put up a donation goal up top that says, Help Yoi Mia get Yeet Mina. Yeet Mia. Yeet Mia. Yeet Mia, <laughs> which we've decided, because if, if, if Buffmon is is to Paimon, then that means Yeet Mia is to Yoi Mia. And then I was thinking about it earlier today, because I was like, what would be Sayu? And I was like, oh, it's Strong you. Strong Strong you. Strong you. <laughs> I know. I, I, cause I do stream, but I just haven't been streaming very much lately, but I'm probably going to start again soon. And yeah, I'm probably going to start a Yoimiya Mia fund cause I want her so bad. Yeah. And of course you stream, Lily. Um, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. She's, she's very new. Lily Peach, you a streamer. I've never heard of that. That's crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> Yes, yo, uh, yes, Yoi Mia is now Yeet Mia, Paimon is Buffmon, and Sayu is Strunk You, and I would love if anybody were to cosplay those three. I want I want a Yeet Mia, a Buffmon, yes. and a Strunk You together. Please cosplay them. I want to see them. I just want it all to be big buff people that like are, are bodybuilders or something. If or, we can get like build strong no. competitions. Like Bill Butts is Paimon. <laughs> yes, Bill Butts is Paimon. No, 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 hold on. Because actually, that's already Je that's already Jeff Basente. He called Buffmon. Okay, then. Jeff Basente's uh, Buffmon. Uh, Bill can either be uh, can be Yeet Mia or Strunk You. <laughs> Which I think would be funnier if he was Strunk You, only because I really want to see him with a little tiny like um uh, Tanaki hat on. Yes. And a, and a Tanaki tail. <laughs> Do you ever like plan on? Cosplaying as your characters? I already have, and I got your character again! Whoa! <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually have a cosplay of Paimon, and uh, if you guys ever cosplay as your characters, we could possibly do a photo shoot. Hit me up, you know. That'd be so cute! Yeah, I'm. I wanna cosplay as uh, Yoi Mia, but um. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing uh, cosplaying Yoimiya if I get to like a certain subscriber count, That's but I don't I know did. how many. 
How many? I, yeah. I made mine. I made mine at first two hundred, and then I, and then they made it easily, and I was like, oh crap. And then I was like, hey Eddie, how much for you? How many subscribers at one time? Um, for you to get uh to pi a couple cosplay as Paimon, and I and he was like, it'd have to be a ridiculous amount, and I was like, what about two thousand? Because that's the most I would have ever had at that point. And and he was like, uh, sure, fine. And so now he's looking in for somebody to make his Paimon cosplay. He has his crown already. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I don't know. I, to cosplay Yoi Mia, probably like maybe 300 or something. I'm gifting 300 stuff. <laughs> 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 Actually, it was funny on my TikTok today. Somebody was like, "Do you just like work for work for Genshin just so that you can turn around and give all that money back to Genshin?" Shh, I'm pretty sure that's MiHoYo's plan. That, I'm pretty you know, like, sure that's their plan. They just start hiring more and more people just so that they can get that money right back. Yeah, Maybe. they just hire weebs. <laughs> yeah, yep. no, that's that's definitely the plan. Mm -hmm. Yep, pretty <laughs> sure I broke even. Yep, sounds about right. <laughs> What is how many? Um, how uh, many? I think that's before. Four. I wanna, I wanna at least get. I I need another Yoimiya though. Hopefully, I don't lose out on this fifty-fifty that's coming up because if I do, I will. If it's another D Luke, I'll be sad. <laughs> if it's a friggin' D Luke, because that means it will be like C fifteen at that point, which doesn't exist. And god damn it, I don't use D Luke. I don't. I'm not a fan of his fighting style. Great. You're also just not a fan of D Luke. I'm also just not a fan of D Luke. <laughs> I have I have my reasons. Um and mind you, I think he's a great character. I don't like him as a person, but that makes him a great character. If you like all the characters, the game would be boring. Um Let's see if Karina's gonna see seven D Luke tonight. It would be fifteen at that point. I've had so many extra D Luke's. It's insane. Core is going for a C100 deal. Oh no. <laughs> Let's go, gamers. <laughs> I'm getting so many things. Yeah, there's uh, lots of items. Yeah, that was, had... that was a full item. I only, my team is just all chibi characters right now. Oh, that's I know, so the cute. chibis are so cute. Like, they're so cute. I love them. Well, that's like um my my editor his his daughter is try is basically trying for Sayu because she also wants a full chibi team. Mhm. Mm She's like I want all all of my main characters are all going to be the chibi characters. I could give a shit about the adults. Get out. <laughs> I don't want you. <laughs> like she's like no, just all chibis. Small army of babies. A small oh, army so of babies. Like Yoimiya is trying to make. <laughs> Oh, look, she's there. giving. Uh, I saw you again! Yay! Yay! Uh, what is Yoimi is not. At? Yoimi is not trying to make an army of children, but if that's a consequence, then you know what? Then that's <laughs> that just so happens to happen, you know? Oh goodness! She's just trying to spread a little bit of happiness, oh giving God, fireworks to the make kids. Go all the way to pity, isn't it? I have a feeling. It's like super pity. I don't know how many I got into. I'm making Dilly cry? Why? No, I don't want to make Dilly cry. Yeah, um, Diona is so cute. Dilly? <laughs> oh, that's that's my that's my editor's daughter. Oh. I, think oh. means, I think he means happy tears, though. Oh. She's oh, amazing. Okay. She also does the art for my YouTube. She's great. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. There's a gold. Oh! <gasps> Oh, dip. Hold Come on. See you when you aim it. Please just don't be a D Luke. Even if I lose the 50 50. <laughs> please just don't be D Luke. Come on, D Luke. There's a Shin Yan. Ah, it's a Kuching. So I just see six Kuching. Okay, there you go. We got a little bit of Kaylee Mills here. <laughs> we got a little Aww. Kaylee Mills, and I see six Kaylee. now, so that's cool. I love Kuch I thought her ears. No, wait. Her hair was. Her ears for the longest time. I thought yeah, so too. That ear is super cute. It is very adorable. Okay. I know. I want to try and do my hair like that sometime. Right? Except my mm -hmm. hair's too short now. <laughs> we can like use the hair that you cut off and make it into cat ears. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Also, my hair is just really thin, so like anytime I grow it out, it just doesn't. I don't have enough to like turn it into anything. Mm. You know, when you're a sickly person, you lose your hair a lot, but it's fine. I look good with short hair. You do. You look adorable with your short hair. Thank you. Oh. It's a hole. Has Paimon before? Yep. Oh, all right. I'll Google it. I, I've cosplayed a Paimon. It was on my Instagram, but then my Instagram disappeared one day, and I don't know what happened. But I also made a TikTok of me cosplaying as Paimon, and I believe I also put that on my YouTube. Cute! Oh, and I was cosplaying as Paimon for the first Among Us stream that we did. <laughs> so that was fun. I'm so excited for the next Among Us stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good stream. Uh it was really funny because I was seeing a lot of comments on uh, Zach's uh, posting of a previous Among Us stream and people were kind of like, oh, that's why Jenny was there. <laughs> well, you were there also because you you're just a voice actor. I'm just a voice actor, yeah. It is a voice actor Among Us. And and that technically means that any, anybody who is a voice actor can be mm -hmm. part of the stream. Mm-hmm. But I was also uh, there hiding in plain sight. You were. <laughs> <laughs> the Genshin voice acting community is very cute. It's it cute. is. We're 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 all we're all we're all friends. Yeah, and everyone's so out. nice. <laughs> I want there to be a Genshin slumber party. <laughs> there, we have to have it happen. It'd be so fun. Ah, it's gold. Okay, it's a Yoimiya oh. for sure. Because I got Kuching last time. So I know it's a Yoimiya. That's a C1 Yoimiya. Awesome. Yes, that's what I want. There's my daughter. I love her splash art. It's so I know. pretty. Mm -hmm. So Little pretty. Fireworks and stuff. I hope they make an acrylic stand of her. And I need one more Sayu for, C, for uh, C6. So. Or at least I think I need one more Sayu. Ooh, you got a Rosaria, too. I'm I watching did. on your Twitch, too. That's cool. Uh, uh, damn, that was a really good pull. Hot damn. Yeah, Look that at that. Really, whoa. <laughs> Four characters? That's insane. Um, so... D Oh, oh, um, C. Dandino, my editor, said, so Jenny and Lily, be yourself and all that, but give me stuff for my daughter to draw. What does that mean? Um, meaning do something funny so his daughter can draw it. <laughs> uh, draw all of us having a slumber party. <laughs> <laughs> draw Yoimiya babysitting, uh, <laughs> Sayu and Paimon. Sayu and Paimon. <laughs> I want, I want as heck. Yoimiya, though, in the middle of chaos. Like, I want Sayu to be doing uh, doing something with her animal powers, and I want Paimon um, eating everything out of the fridge, and Yoimiya is frantic, being all like, ah, what do I do? <laughs> the thing is, though, is that I think Yoimiya would be, like, the worst Yoimiya babysitter. Yoimiya probably join in. Or, th yeah. actually, that's even better. Have both of the travelers, both male and female, walk in on Yoimiya, who's supposed to be babysitting. But so far, they're drawing on the walls, eating stuff out of the fridge. Yoimiya's a mess, but joining in the fun. And Yoimiya just looks back at the traveler like, oh, I didn't realize you'd be home so soon. <laughs> yeah, like Yoimiya, like Yoimiya, one hundred percent. Like she would be a terrible babysitter because she, like, she's so sweet. But like, she would, abs yeah, no, she would absolutely join, and she would be like, everyone would be like, "Can we have candy for dinner?" And she's like, "Yeah," and also I brought explosives. <laughs> That's cute. I She'd mean, be a fun out. babysitter. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, fun, yes. Dangerous, also yes. Like <laughs> the reason, like. It, like, it's a good thing that she does not live in Monsat. Otherwise, like, Klee would be, like, free. Klee and her free. would be the worst together. And by the worst, they'd also be the best. But, like, yeah, like, Yoimiya Arsenis could never join the Knights. Sure. She could never join the Knights of Favonius. Actually, that's a good one. Dr just draw Yeet Mia, Buffmon, and Strunk, Strunk you all together. I want I want a picture of, of them, like, showing off their muscles. B Buffmon, yeet me up, and strunk you. <laughs> One of my favorite uh, lines of Yoimiya is uh, in the game where she's, it's her about Sayu line, and it's her saying that she always worries about Sayu because she's always sleeping and she thinks that she might be sad, so she wants her to play with the other kids. Aww. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's really cute. 
I but she like really annoyed at Yoimiya from her line about her. Oh, wait, what's your line about Yoimiya? <laughs> Um, hold on, hold on, let me look it up really fast. Because uh, Yoimiya talks about wanting to take Sayu to a festival because she likes I want her to play with the other kids. And Sayu is like, uh, every time she sees me, she calls me a tanuki. I'm not a tanuki. I don't want to go to a festival. She says she wants to hang out, but she just wants me to do a performance during the fireworks show. That's not even related to my work. Yeah, really annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I love that. That's so cute. So you're basically just mad because you're like, I don't want to be used! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just want to sleep. I don't want to go to a festival. <laughs> just picturing her, like, Yoimiya just, like, dragging her by her little tail. Right? She's like, we're gonna go play! And she's like, I don't want to play! Oh, so now I want to ask, uh, what, oh, but for both of you, what's your favorite lines that you, that you did so far? Uh, oh boy. There were so, there were some lines where he was, I just had to sleep. Like, ah. <laughs> I was just You sound so cute. And then they kept so it, and I'm like, oh, okay. So she snores now. Thank you, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable, though! What about you, Jenny? Um... I really like the line of Yoi Mia talking about how she's lactose intolerant. Wait, she's lactose intolerant?! <laughs> yeah, it's her least- it's her least favorite food line, and she says, like, dairy- like... <laughs> I won't do it in her voice, but like, she says, like, dairy never fails to set up fireworks in her stomach. And then she says that like, um, but uh, food made with milk is fine. And so she ha so she says that she guesses that the little sealy in her stomach is just pickier than most. Oh my God! Wait, hold on. Yoimiya has a sealy in her stomach. That's what she says. I think it's, it's probably canon, like a figure guys. of speech, but it's it so probably cute. is. But I'm gonna call it canon. Also, I just see six saw you. Yeah. Yeah. Now okay, you now have if I to could get it. like another Yoimiya, that'd be great because that would be C two at least. Oh, but I'm yeah. like out. <laughs> Yoimiya has a line where she says that <gasps> it's basically gold. She's... <gasps> Please be another Yoimiya. I just ah, oh, it's Yoimiya. Hey. hey, I got I got another one. Okay, so that's at least a C2 Yoimiya and a C6 Sayu. I think that's pretty good. I'm excited. That's that was awesome. Yeah, I really like the lactose intolerant line, mm -hmm. and then, uh... Um... I love the... Every time I get to say pew as her. Mm-hmm. Because the first time I said pew was actually, uh, ad-lib, which was really fun, and they got to And they kept it in, which I was excited ah. about. Oh my god, I'm, like, looking at your lines right now. Those are so many chunky paragraphs. <laughs> your lines are long. <laughs> During the recording sessions, uh, Chris... Just kept being like, oh my god, she can talk. Oh yeah. Um, uh, thank you for the raid! I, I really appreciate that. Also, uh, it was funny because, like, Paimon even has a line where it says how much you talk. And I actually got mad because I'm like, how dare Paimon thinks that, thinks that they, they have any place to talk. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Yoimiya talks a little, like, quite a bit. But Paimon talks nonstop. So why the hell? What the? Like, I actually got mad and I was like, no, I hate Paimon right now. She's being a bitch. Um, <laughs> I love the I love the interaction that I have with Paimon where uh, Yoimiya calls her a person and Paimon's just really, really excited about that. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. I actually get to call a person. My favorite yeah. Paimon lines are the ones where she has like a bit of attitude. Oh yeah, I love Sassy Paimon. Oh my Paimon. god. So Sassy nice. Paimon is best Paimon. Mm-hmm. Also, Paimon... Oh my god, I was like talking about this on stream. I'm like, oh my... Paimon's voice actor must be like... like it's just so many lines. There's it so is much dialogue. I'm like, holy poo, that's so much work. Oh, you can curse on my stream if you want. Okay, yeah, that's a fuck ton of work. <laughs> <laughs> It's 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 quite a bit and it's it's a lot of fun though because luckily we have a really great director that we work on it with and and him and I have worked on previous stuff before so mm -hmm. it's just it's 
it's it's a pretty great experience all the way around. That's cool. Uh, you got to be like part of the game since the very beginning too, you know. I I really character. did. Um, because I believe I was the first character that was cast. I was also the first character that got to do the record, like start doing recordings. Oh no, actually, no. Stephanie Sutherland was the first person in recordings. Really? Because we were accidentally, um, uh, we were accidentally, um, booked for the same time, which happens sometimes. Oh, yeah. Um, but I was running late anyway, so I was, like, freaking out because I was running, a f like, ten minutes late, and then my agent calls me and is like, hey, so they double booked you, is it okay, oh. like, they asked if it's okay if you can come after, like, two hours or whatever, and I was like, totally fine! I'll just hang out, um, because it's, it was, like, in an area that I knew, so, like, luckily I was able to, you know, go, go and just hang out. So that was nice. <laughs> and I was like, Stephanie Sutherland saved my butt because I was late. Oh, wait, did I already have Kuching? I already had Kuching at C6. Never mind, I'm silly. I love Kuching's design. She's so cute. I'm only she is so pretty. Okay, I what know, is your? I love the lavender. Besides is... your own character, your uh, favorite Genshin. Oh, my design. favorite character is not even my own character. Oh, uh, it's Timmy. Timmy's the best character. <laughs> Timmy. Uh, second favorite character is Mandrist as worker. Third favorite character is the woman that yells at you and Leo is saying cheap and tasty chop suey. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, after that. It's question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yes, that is the character's name. Um, <laughs> and then after that, it's Madam Ping. Paimon's not even in the top five. Wow, I like your choice of favorite. I was expecting, like, playable, but... No, none of my favorite characters are playable. Don't get me wrong. All of the playable characters are really great. But what's even better is how people respond to those people. Mm-hmm. And honestly, as far as playable characters go, I think, like, so far, because I haven't played with your character, with both of your characters yet, so I, um, without, the, without the inclusion of you guys being in the running for it, because it's not fair when I haven't really experienced your characters yet, I think, honestly, Klee is my favorite playable character, only because of the lines that Klee has, mm -hmm. and also Xiong Ling. Their lines, oh, yeah. both of their lines are hilarious. And I love them. Yeah, Klee, Klee's been my favorite since the beginning. Like, I was always thinking to myself, I'm like, uh, I was like, oh man, if I could play any character in Genshin, I'd want to play Klee. And now I basically have, like, grown up You're, Klee. you're adult Klee! <laughs> That's how I felt, too. Klee is mm -hmm. one of my favorites. Like, her entire design. So freaking cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. And I love her trailer where she's talking about, like, the monsters that come out at night. <laughs> Where she's like, there's monsters that come out in Mondstadt. Kaya told me they only look like the Knights of Pavonius. Mm -hmm. She's so precious. Oh my goodness, look at you with that big... I love that you're a tiny, tiny little person with a big sword. It's so cute. She is no longer baby. She wants power. Mm -hmm. I love her. I love her. She's so I love her. precious. I like... I'm like, okay, I want to commission like a hood... You know, like her size, like everything. Y yeah, you guys should get like a Kigurumi too. Oh, I want one. Yes. It would have to be like. Dude, custom. I would, I would die for a Paimon Kigurumi. Mm-hmm. I already have what? a Paimon sweater. Ah. Uh, I think yeah. the casual ones are really nice. Like mm -hmm. not cosplay, but you know, oh, based yeah, I, on it. The, mm -hmm. I've seen like a bunch of the Kickstarter of like the different like uh, cardigans and things like that, and like there's a lot of really pretty Hu Tao ones. And they're so pretty. I really hope so. Yeah, like I'm really crossing my fingers that someone makes some Yoimiya cardigans or skirts because they're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wolf's gravestone was on D. Luke because that's originally oh. his his sword, uh -huh. but you stole it from him, Lily. Yeah. You now have one of the best swords on uh, in the game. <laughs> I want Wolf's graves. Okay, I asked my chat. I want to make Sayu a main DPS, right? What is the best main DPS claymore? And everyone's like, you gotta go Wolf's Gravestone. Yeah, it's Wolf's Gravestone. Oh, I want one, but it's like, you know, unless it's like raid up. Wishing on a standard banner is kind of... Oh, weird, yeah, it, you know? it is. Uh, the only yeah. reason why I ever wished on the standard banner was because I really wanted Mona at the time. So uh, I... And it took me forever to get Mona. <laughs> 
Or got really mad at me one time because I wished on the beginner's banner and I got Mona. It's not I even thought... that you got Mona the first time. <laughs> it was also, I gave you that money. <laughs> I, I literally, Jen, Jenny was like, I'm going to start up the game, Karina. And I was like, great, I'll give you like $100 so you can start like, you know, playing this game with me. And Out of friggin... the kindness of their heart. She got Mona before me with my money. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she. I love all of my friends, <laughs> but the fact that I love them means that I also hate them sometimes. <laughs> and in that moment, I very much hated Jenny. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Are you gonna get the Mona uh, figurine that MiHoYo is releasing? Yes, I already it's have the so Paimon pretty. one. So pretty. The Mona figurine's so pretty with like all the water and everything around her. Mm-hmm. It's very guys, pretty. Oh did what? You sing? Yeah. A I wanted bit. oh my god, I saw this thing on YouTube, right? It was a bunch the Chinese Genshin voice actors. Mm -hmm. They did a little singing collab. They did! Character. And mm -hmm. I did you see it? The I did see it and and uh um I know I because the thing is is that you know we have to ask to do things as our like as our characters and stuff like that. So we have been asking and so far we're waiting for a response. Okay. I would love to that would be so cute. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. I just I, I wanna do it so bad. Same. It'd be so cute. Also, I, Lily, I don't know if you saw my shit posts on Twitter the other night about rewriting the Caillou theme song for Sai. <laughs> Caillou, Sai. Yo, Caillou was a little shit, wasn't he? He is a little shit. I'm, okay, starting, an official pe I'm starting an official petition to replace Caillou with Sayu. They both rhyme, same thing. Exactly. They, same syllables, same rhyming scheme, but the show would be about a little, like, Tanuki ninja instead, and it'd be much better. Yeah. That, that sounds great and perfect. Yes, I approve. Also, I'm supposed to search in the bottom of this well, and I'm like, I thought I already did that, but I guess I didn't do what I was supposed to do, question mark? So now I'm confused on what it wants me to do. It's just like, explore, and I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I thought I did, but okay. This well is sketchy. This is how you this, get eaten by Pennywise. This is also, I'm pretty sure, how you get, like, some some infection. Because that's, oh, absolutely. like, sewer water, right? I would just like to, like, res shout respect to Mona for, like, doing this while wearing really high heels, too. Yup. Also, hold on. I just need to see real fast. If I were to put, I need to put, I need to put your characters in here. Do 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 do. Um, sorry guys, you're gonna be changed out for a little bit. I also need to level up both of you. More companions! Hooray! <laughs> you said that like you don't have friends. What? <laughs> Your character was like, more companions! Hooray! And I'm like, more... <laughs> do you just not have friends? Yoimiya, I mean, like, here's the thing with Yoimiya, is that, like, she spends a lot of time alone because she's always building fireworks by herself, and then she, like, she doesn't really have a lot of people to talk to because her pops can't really hear her. And so, it, like, she does really, like, get really excited whenever she gets to spend time with people. I guess. That just sounds unfortunate. <laughs> she's just excited. She loves the more the merrier. That's her spirit. <laughs> I mean, fair. Okay, I explored it. What am I supposed to find? I oh wait, I missed oh I missed stuff. I guess I missed stuff. Well, it's a good thing I'm looking. <laughs> wait, I I definitely have been in in this part before though. I definitely have. What do I do here? <laughs> also, so, if anyone in the chat cosplays Yoimiya or Sayu or Paimon, please tag us. <laughs> Oh. Yes, I would love to see that. I need yes. to purify and pray here. Okay, got it. Oh, stuff is happening. We have to repent. Uh, mm, uh, well, I might burn in flames because we both know I'm a sinner. Um, you wouldn't You wouldn't burn in flames. You would get struck by lightning because you're an Inazuma. I thought you said sinner and that, is, that, that is what a sinner is. Gay. And I am gay. <laughs> also, can you get me a soda, please? Thank you. You're already in the kitchen. Don't get mad at me, you're already in the kitchen. 
Um, so I prayed and um I didn't I didn't get struck by lightning. Apparently having your main god be Cthulhu is not a problem. So that's good. Um but now I'm like, what do I do? Oh, that's true. I haven't fought ball. That sounds awful, though. Okay, wait. I did the thing. Uh, Someone in the chat said that they have ADHD and they feel like Yoimi is a kindred spirit, and I also have ADHD, and so that's... I Yeah, I feel like Yoimi is definitely a kindred spirit, because it... I, like, yeah, she seems to have a lot of my same tendencies. Wait, I, I have to change these? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I just changed them all though, so let's see what happens. Oh, I did it very wrong. Oh, wait, hold on, I see now. Oh, I have to match the thing. Uh, Fallen cosplays in the chat. I think that you can cosplay Yoimiya. It doesn't matter your body shape. What oh, really matters absolutely. is if you enjoy the character, then you can cosplay her. Yep, 100%. If you enjoy the character, you can cosplay them, period. Doesn't matter your body type, doesn't matter anything. Yeah, if that would make you happy, then do it for you. Cosplay is for everybody. Yes. And if anybody comes and attack you to say that's not accurate or anything like that, um, ignore them. Then if they ever do that, send them my way. I'll fuck them up. There you go. Mm-hmm. Jenny said that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I did it. Oh, nope, I did not do it. I did not do it. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, uh, I, s oh, god damn it. Okay. One, two, this one needs to be three. Sometimes I'm not smart because it definitely needed to be this one. This one needs to be four. And this one will be five. So Lily, what AR are you now? I just turned 31. Okay. <laughs> I just got to Inazuma, so I'm like slowly going through the quests and stuff. That's awesome. Oh, I have to fight somebody? Oh no, you guys are level one. You're gonna die. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to fight somebody. And I don't necessarily have my characters out that are leveled up right now. <laughs> I just wanted to, I wanted to see you and you and me and saw you and 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 um oops because this guy is level 86. I mean, we can we can see okay, you and me uh, oh you died. <laughs> so that's what happens when you're level 1. Got it. We we are we're doing science, guys. We're just testing things out. I felt really bad cuz yesterday when I was streaming, I had oh. you and me uh, out and doing stuff and she died and I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. I I gave her life and then I took oh, it away. That's unfortunate. Dreams. Oh, well, we just heard a death from, from Sayu as well. Oh. I like that she says sweet dreams though. That's really cute. Sweet dreams. Oh my god, one of her death lines is it's my fault for being Delve so into lazy. Destiny. Oh, like, that's oh my so god, sad. Stop. That's so She's sad. sad. No. It's so sad. One of uh, Yoimiya's damage lines that is one of my favorite is uh, she gets hit and she goes, That didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just need another one that was like, uh, JK, that was my brother playing. <laughs> <laughs> Yoimiya has a very. Oh, God, I love like her personality. It's so bubbly and happy. Firework. Fate is upon you. I love her. She's just like a human sparkler. I know. Basically, mm -hmm. yes. Go. The other night, uh, I was with my boyfriend and uh, with his parents and everything, and his Orange sister brought out a bunch of sparklers, and he just kept, he kept like, throw, like throwing more and more sparklers in my hand. He's like, I have to get the perfect picture of you. Perfect picture of you. It has to be perfect for you and me. For you and me. I'm like, okay, honey. Yep. Whatever you say, dear. Oops. Mona's fine. Oh, I, I um, got someone, you back to life, though. Someone has a question for you, Lily. Um, to Lily, what's it like voicing Megumi in Vanguard Overdress? P.S. Your performance was amazing. Ooh. Uh, Shadows of fate. That's one of the roles. You know, I always felt like my voice was too high for her, so I was actually like so uncomfortable. Is it the unconfident? No, hold on. You know, unconfident. Sorry. Unconfident. 
Insecure, I guess. Yeah, insecure, yeah. <laughs> like, just like you're recording and you're just like praying, like, oh my god, I hope this turns out like yeah. okay, passable. <laughs> I don't know. That's oh, me every time hard. they say I'm voicing a 35 year old, and I'm like, then why did you hire me? <laughs> I, I I feel the same way. When it has to be like lower, it's like, oh god, okay, don't make her sound too young, don't make her sound too young. Both but of you have such lovely voices, though. We're deaf. Yeah, I like voicing, um, you know, younger mm -hmm. creatures. Karina, you voice someone older in uh, Yoimiya's trailer. Yes, I do. You sound so good. Which is funny because, like, I, I actually have been working on, like, my older voices lately because I'm finding that I'm actually auditioning for a lot more of those and I've been booking some of them, too. Yay! And so, like, um... And so, yeah, when they were like, oh, yeah, you want to voice this random woman in Yoimiya's trailer? I was like, hell yes! Because it's my first time actually voicing somebody else in Genshin because he, um... All of the people that are um, playable characters always voice NPCs. It's like almost a given that on any game that you work on, you are voicing multiple people. Um, unless you just have way too many lines. That's what happened to me. <laughs> that's what happened to me too. Because I remember being there, uh, and this was like back when we were co recording the Hu Tao script. They were like, we're going to have you voice some NPCs today. And I was like, oh, cool. I won't be just Paimon anymore. And then at the end of the session, they were like, um, so we have like another thousand lines for you. So that's not happening. And I was like, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> but then, yeah, the Yoimiya trailer, they were like, uh, yay, we get to uh, you get to actually be this older woman in the Yoimiya trailer. So that brown haired woman is me. It's really funny because apparently everybody says that she sounds really hot. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I haven't gotten to voice any NPCs either. Because, yeah, Yoimiya's lines are just so chunky that they usually take up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was so so many lines. I mean, you're in I was reading through your wiki, you know? <laughs> she has just Other really line. chunky lines. Like, she never just, like, says, like, a sentence or two. It's always, like, a five-paragraph essay with a full, fully cited bibliography. <laughs> I like her line about Klee. It's cute. I know, but I'm so, like, I was wondering if I was going to be able to say a line about Klee, but she's just sort of like, she must be a genius! Well, because, like, even if they haven't met, they still heard about some mm -hmm. people, right? I want them to meet so bad. I want them to meet so bad. I don't know how it would be possible, but I need it to happen. So, like, Ningguang needs to, like, guess, smuggle I, Yoimiya I mean, like, back yeah, to Monster. I, I think, like... They have to... I, I mean, I don't know anything about the future because they don't tell me anything unless I need to know it. So I really don't know. But it would it would surprise me if they never had a moment where they finally let some of the characters from Inazuma actually travel. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, because my, 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 my headcanon, and this is pure headcanon, this is not actual canon, this is not from MiHoYo, this is not in the script, but my headcanon and my theory is, is that eventually... As the story progresses, because you're going to different places in the world, um, creating all these friendships with different people that you can play as. And so my thought process is, is that eventually at the very end or towards the end or whatever, all of those people are going to be important in the story. That's my thought process behind it. Anyway. I hope so, yeah. Lily, do you have any headcanons for Sayu? Mm, besides she likes sleeping a lot? Well, that's a canon <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, right, right. Head canon is, is something that you just thought of yourself, um, and it's oh. not confirmed by MiHoYo at all. Oh, wait, let me think about this. Because I have, I also have a head canon about Changyun. I personally, again, this is not canon. This is not something from MiHoYo. This is my personal thoughts, and it's completely not real. But my headcanon is that Changyun is autistic. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of things about Changyun that very much strike me as having autistic traits. So, yeah. Yeah, see, my, my headcanon for Yoi Mia, and again, this is non-canon, not from MiHoYo, this is just my personal opinion, and how I kind of played her a little bit is that she does have ADHD, because I have ADHD, and so I see a lot of myself in her, and so that's that's my headcanon, is that she has ADHD. 100%. 
Also, yes, I agree with that bloody circuits the, that you have a headcanon that Hu Tao is, uh, is autistic too. I also think Hu Tao is also autistic, mainly because how she doesn't understand why people don't like that she talks about death. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <laughs> no, because I've literally, as an autistic person, I've done that. I've had like literally those full conversations where I'm like, no, this is just something that happens and we got to think about it. I'm like, it's it not a big deal or whatever. You it would know. also be like death is kind of Hu Tao's special interest too. Oh yeah, hundred percent. All right, I have to get going, but it's been very much. It's been so fun. It was nice talking to you guys. Thank you, Jenny, cool. for Jenny. being here. Um, Let's do more stream soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, are you are you gonna be in the next Among Us stream? I am. Good. I get to blame you more for things you didn't do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you should do the Among Us stream. It'd be fun. I um, hope you do, Lily. I do want to. I really, really want to. We do it on the schedule. last Saturday of every month. I know, and it feels like if you miss this one, then you have to wait another month. Yeah, but at least it gives you a lot of time to plan. True. All right. Well, let's, I, let's all stream together in the future. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Jenny. Bye. We should play... Oh, my gosh. Mm. We should play Gartic Phone. Have you, have you played Gartic Phone? No. What is that? Woohoo! I'm going to set up a lobby. It is a... You know how to play, um... The game of telephone, uh -huh. but with drawings instead. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It's real. It's a browser-based game. Super easy. Anyone can play it. So you draw something, then the next person tries to guess what that is, and the person after that has to draw what they guess, and it goes on until the end of the turn. goes in a cycle. And then every, at the very end, you get to see, like, what it started off with. Okay, I actually think that would be super fun. And I think we should get a group together. It should be you, me, Zach. Um, <laughs> um, I think Christian Banis would be hilarious at it. I think Sarah Miller Cruz should be in on it. And then Jenny as well. And then we'll have like a big group doing it. Oh yeah, the maximum amount of people that can play. Not that you should do this because the games will go on forever. Mm -hmm. It's 30 people. Holy but hell, you, we could have I know, more. I know, but it's way too many. Most people just play like 9 to 14, I think. 15. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. We could definitely get 9 to 14 people in Genshin to yeah. play that together. Okay, all right. I'm totally down. I mm -hmm. want to do a Gartic phone. That looks so cute. We got to set it up. That sounds okay. like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I completed a story quest. Uh, Are you just doing an uh, Inazuma quest right now? Yeah, I'm just doing some Inazuma quests, and then I, um, I got a, I got like crazy amounts of stuff to do because I'm trying to level up a whole bunch of different characters. Um, wait, how do I go through? Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh no. <laughs> do I? I can't go that way. Okay, cool. Um. Do you have a favorite character that you use? Um, Mona. Mona? I, I really love, um, like, playing as Mona. I think, um, her, her style of fighting definitely suits mine. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I, um, usually anytime I do anything that has to do with elements, I'm usually into more fire users. Because that just makes sense for me, I guess. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy playing with Mona, um and her whole setup. And I also like that when you sprint, she literally disappears into the ground and goes really, really fast. <laughs> yeah, she has that, Ayaka has that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ayaka does it with ice though. And Mona does it with water. Oh my gosh, there's an electro, electro thingy over here. I need to get it. Also there's, oh, 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 there's bad guys. Oh no. <laughs> Also, Cory Yi, um, he plays a few characters in Genshin as well, and he helped me make my Mona insane. So if you want to make Sayu insane, highly suggest you get on, um, uh, uh, actually him and Jen, every Thursday they do what they call Theory Crafting Thursday, where they just talk about how to make, like, the craziest builds, and, like, how to do certain builds with certain characters. So if you want to get like really good uh, good building advice, highly suggest wa um like joining that stream honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That sounds cool. Yeah, I that's like that. every Thursday. So like it's really cool to see um 
there. Everyone's so into Genshin, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, everyone plays the game. Oh, my dog. <gasps> you have a puppy? Uh, what type of puppy? Him? Yes. I, have him. I will take puppy. <laughs> yes. He's, um, he's a pom... I have two Pomeranians, and one is still kind of puppyish. Aww. I have a bird. Oh, what's the bird's name? Her name is Zulu. Lulu? Zulu. Oh, Zulu. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> she is, she, she's a menace and I love her. And I, I love her very much. She's also can, she also can get really snuggly sometimes, but also like, if she's in a mood, she is in a mood and she will bite the shit out of your fingers and you will bleed. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> what kind of bird is Zulu? It's a green cheek conure. Oh. Are the birds hard to take care of? Um, they can be. Uh, I highly, I always say like, um, for anybody that's looking into getting a bird, is to just, you know, like for any animal, really, do your research and also, um, you know, especially because parrots are, um, are, um, they're crazy, yes, but also they are exotic. So you have to consider that when getting a parrot because not all veterinarians may be very good um, with um, with those types of animals if they're not exotic uh, vets. So like, um, for example, the vet that's closest near me that we go to that specifically like knows a lot about parrots, uh, they're about an hour away. So, you know, it's something to consider when you're getting an animal that's an exotic pet. You also have to think about, okay, if this animal is sick, like, who's nearby, that I can get it some help, you know? Mm. But, I also, I love my bird, and luckily, parrots um can be trained just like dogs with clicker training. I heard parrots are like toddlers. Yes. But, like, infinitely. <laughs> toddlers. 100%. That's super accurate. They are toddlers, and uh, they will destroy everything. Ready for a rehearsal? Like, that's just true. <laughs> Did they, like, free roam your house? Um, she's currently upstairs at the moment because we were cooking, but we're probably going to get her in a second. And, yeah, she flies and, and flies wherever she wants. Um, as long as, uh, as long as we're downstairs, she's downstairs, but other than that, like, if we're not home, she just stays up in my room, completely out of her cage. Wow. Yeah. Are you ever scared she's gonna escape through your door or window? She's actually, like, real, well, the windows all have screens on them, and then she's really good about not leaving through the front door. Funny enough. Ooh. And I don't really know how we trained her to do that, but like usually if if um she understands that if we're downstairs and we're leaving her inside, um that either somebody else was with her or we're coming right back. But I trained her to do a lot of tricks. And um Yeah, even even despite all of the bad things about having a bird, I love her to death and I wouldn't trade her for the this world. This is how it must be. She seemed I mean I don't know anything about owning birds, so it's like really interesting to hear. I would be like paranoid they fly out the window or something. Mm -hmm. And that's that's a fair paranoia, but you know, it's just like having a dog. You set up your house so that your dog doesn't run away, right? True. My dogs, have, um, my dogs are very clingy, mm -hmm. so they have zero wanderlust. Well, and that's the thing open. about most birds are very clingy too, because, and honestly, I've never seen a bird that doesn't attach to their human or to a human because in the wild, they stick with their flock all the time. Oh, oh that's cute. That's really cute. I like that. The idea of just a bird clinging to you is really cute and wholesome. Mm -hmm. Well, and I also, I also train her for recall training all the time. So she knows to come and she knows she'll get seeds if she follows that command. And so as long as you're very good about um, recall training and then also, you know, spending time with your bird and letting them bond to you. I honestly, if I were to go outside with her right now, even with her being fully flighted, the worst thing that I would actually have to worry about is not necessarily her flying away from me. It's more about, like, 
other birds being around that could possibly hurt her because they're territorial. <gasps> oh, that would be so scary. Yeah. But at the same I... time, like, um, because, you know, people that, um, people think that if they clip their bird's wings, um, that, like, that's the best for the bird's safety. And that's actually not necessarily true. Because even birds with clipped wings can still run away. And generally speaking, usually when you clip your bird's wings, you only clip, clip them a month, uh, uh, enough so that they can't keep, um, height or gain height, but they can still technically fly. So if you don't have them have their full flight powers, you actually have um, less of a chance if they were to get away for them coming back because they might actually get injured because they're not fully flighted. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. I feel like I just got like a whole bird lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I love talking about birds. No, no. It's cool. If someone asked me about Pomeranians, I'd probably do the same. I mean, I love dogs. I've had dogs my whole life. Have you had Pomeranians your whole life? Uh, t my first dog was a Pomeranian. Well, she's still here. So my first pet ever was a Pomeranian. When did I you get her? I got her four and a half years ago or so. And I love her. You know, I got her when you get like a dog from when they're like eight weeks old, right? Which is like the minimum. Mm -hmm. It's just, I feel like her mom. Yeah. I, I'd probably die for her. Oh, 100%. I'd die for my bird, no problem. Sick. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta go, actually. Oh, but... no worries! You can leave, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you for being here, I really appreciate it. Yeah, it was really nice talking to you. Like, it's cool. I'm... Paimon has always been, like... Um... I remember when Genshin first came out, people kept asking me, Are you the voice of Paimon? I'm like, no. No, I'm not. Stop <laughs> asking me. <laughs> I remember I actually had Didn't some of your fans, like, attack me when I announced. What? Not that that's, it's oh, not your fault at all, because that that's ridiculous. But, that is um, so ridiculous. Yeah, they, they were like, how dare you take um, Lily Pichu's clout or whatever, and I was like, but it, what? But it's not Lily Pichu. It's not me. I have nothing. <laughs> like, I... I, me, I, like, I... barely knew who, like, I barely knew who you were, because I knew you were a streamer, but I was, like, and I knew that also that you were, like, it training and acting, because as I said, like, I, um, my boyfriend said that, you know, he was in acting classes with you, but as far as, like, beyond that, I was, like, I know nothing about this person, why are you attacking me? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry that happened. I told you. No, again, guys. that's not your like, fault. <laughs> I am not Paimon. Stop asking me. You know, it's, it, really, it really does really suck because, like, you know, there's so many people that follow you and stuff like that. And, and they get so attached to you. And, and that's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Because it's like the minute that anybody does anything... They, they all, like, jump on the gun of attacking other people. And it's like, whoa, hold on. No, don't do that. Please don't do that. And please don't say that you're doing that for me. Definitely, because I didn't ask you to. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. I, I feel like if people do that in your name, they're not fans. Like, yeah. they just aren't fans. Fans would never do anything like that. Mm -hmm. They're just shitsters. Mm, I don't know. For sure. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's really nice to finally meet you, though. It's nice to finally meet you, too. Thank you so much for joining my stream. I really appreciate mm -hmm. it. I hope we can do more stuff in the future. I am totally oh, down. We're definitely Garth doing Cone. more stuff in the future, because now we have to play that game you told me about. And we got to yes. get, like, a whole crew on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. I'm down. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. That's right. La, 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 la.